Okay, let's get started. Happy Monday. Like I said, if you are just hopping on, I'm standing in for Andrea today. They are on spring break and we are too, but we're boring. So <laughs> we're still at home. Um, so I'm standing in and I'm so excited about this call. We have um, Diamond Ambassador Laura Robinson joining us and I'm super excited um, for what she is going to be sharing today. Um, this is something that I've been in deep conversation with Andrea about, and we were kind of brainstorming and we were like, so excited to um, hear her story and hear her pour in. Um, so I want to challenge you to just really open up your mind to um, what she's going to share and then kind of like start um, your questions in your head so that when she opens that towards the end, you guys have some questions. I know I have questions already and she hasn't even started talking yet. Um, and so that way we have some questions because I want to take advantage of having her here to pour into us while she is here. So Laura, I'm going to just hand it over to you and let you start sharing all of the goodness. Cool. Hi guys. Thanks for having me. Um, and we're just getting back from spring break. So I feel like it's like ugh, daylight savings time. Everything is throwing me off. <laughs> I like, I already missed so much stuff already this week. I'm like, Oh, I have this and this. So, but I'm happy to be here and happy to chat with you guys. Um, I am a diamond ambassador. I've been with Plexus since 2014. So February 28th, 2014 is when I joined and I joined for the business. So I'll give you a little bit of a backstory. Some of you guys might know my story. Um, so I'll make that part fast, but I am an ER nurse by trade and I, I, did, I loved my job. Like I really wasn't looking for a new job. Um, and I was just getting tired. Like, I feel like that was like the, the overall word where I was like, I was tired to go into work. I was tired of having to deal with the same just protocols over and over. I was tired of getting basically the same paycheck, even though if I put more work into it or picked up more shifts or stayed over time, there really wasn't making a dent like in my pay. So I was just tired of the situation that I was in, but I loved it. Um, so I was scrolling Facebook one day and, and a little backstory with my Facebook is I was on Facebook, I would say maybe once or twice a week, max. I had a hundred friends on Facebook and my big thing was anytime someone would send me a friend request or I met someone new, like at a, a coworker or at, you know, the park or whatever, I never wanted over a hundred friends on Facebook. So I literally would go through and I would find someone to delete so I can accept or add someone new because in my mind, I'm like a hundred people, like that's a lot of people. And you guys, I knew every single like person on my face, like those hundred people, I would say 60 of them were family because I was living out of state at the time. Um, and then the other ones were just like coworkers or friends from school. So it was never there was no strangers. It was nothing like that. It was literally, I, I would log on, look at some pictures. My posts would be like Laura and then Facebook would generate like little things saying is working or is eating. Like literally was like, I scrolled back or like the little uh, memories that come up where it says, you know, eight years ago, 10 years ago, it literally is Laura is studying. Laura is working. And that's all I would post. Like I wasn't active. So, um, I was scrolling one day and I saw a, a, a friend and she was, um, a coworker of mine when I worked in a medical spa and she was posting that she, you know, was on this new health journey. She had just had her second baby. She just didn't really feel like herself. Um, and that was great. So I was like, I'm going to support her like way to go working on yourself. So guys, I supported her for like five months, liking and commenting on her post, cheering her on for her health journey. Never knew it was a business, never knew she was working it, never knew she was like indirectly trying to promote and solicit to me um, because I wasn't looking for weight loss. I wasn't looking for extra energy. I wasn't looking for anything wellness. Okay. I was just looking to just support her. So here I am still working in the ER 65, 70 hours a week, burnout, exhausted. In my mind, I'm like, I wonder if I could just make extra money doing something else. So this is before the IV therapy, all that like infusions were going on, but it was kind of picking up in Nashville. So I'm like, maybe I'll just pick up, you know, and do some extra IV infusions or do, you know, a side little gig that's medical related on my license. Um, and then popped on the Facebook, another maybe once out of two months, 
<laughs> and I saw her saying that she was depositing a paycheck. And in my mind, I was like, well, she doesn't work. Like she's at home with her baby. Like her husband makes an amazing, you know, he builds um, gas stations. He's an engineer. They made great money. She was at home, but she posted that she walked in and she deposited a paycheck. So that like clicks my mind. I'm like, what is she doing? Didn't really ask her. I was like, what is she doing? So logged on again a few weeks later and she, another post that she was able to take her family out to dinner. And it was such a big deal because she was able to pay for it. It wasn't like she was sitting there with her kids and then her husband's like, she was able to pay for it. And she made a big post saying like, that just meant so much to her because, you know, being a stay at home mom, like you want to be able to give more to your family. Like you, you want to be more than just a stay at home mom. So I was like, that's, that's pretty, that's awesome. And literally her post was she was able to afford um, like the, the drinks and the desserts. And at that time in my life, me and Justin would go, we didn't have kids. We would go out to dinner and we would split a meal in water, <laughs> right? We'd get water and we'd be like, let's just split a meal. So there was no extras at, at all. So I was like, well, that's, I, I know she's making like at least a little bit of money because desserts are, you know, 20 bucks, appetizers, drinks, you know, that adds up. So I messaged her and I was like, what are you doing for work right now? And she's like, oh, I work with Plexus. It's a wellness company. You know, you would love it. Like it's right up your alley there. You know, it's, it's working more with like preventative wellness. And in my mind, I was like preventative wellness. Like this is what I want to do, <laughs> right? Like I want to help people still did not join you guys. Okay. So this was probably in January, 2014. Um, and I went back to work, followed her a little bit longer, cheered her on. She was definitely indirectly promoting being like, Hey, this was for you. Look at this testimony. Look at this. This reminds me of you. I think she sent me like Sarah Marble's diamond doc or a testimony that her, you know, she worked in the hospital or something like that. And I was like, that's awesome. Like great for them. No clue what direct sales was no clue what, you know, anything was went to work one day, you guys. And this day is a day that I will remember if you're in the medical field for the rest of my life, I was a charge nurse, but on that day, I was also a nurse taking patients. And I was also the triage nurse and we were down tons of staff. We were down a doctor. I remember there was helicopters landing and there was ambulances. And I just felt so overwhelmed. Not that I was like, I couldn't do it. I was overwhelmed that I was like going to lose my license because I couldn't help everyone. Right. And, and you literally just put people in a room and put auction on and put a monitor and you hope that the bell doesn't ring the new CPR because you're the only one there. <laughs> it was a very, very scary scenario. And I remember on my break, I called Kara and I said, I think I'm going to do this as a business. Like that was literally my thing. It was like the breaking point. Still never in my mind, you guys thought I was going to quit my job. But once I really looked at the compensation plan and looked at the health testimonies and looked at what the products do for people, my mind quickly shifted that we have something where we can help people with preventative health and we can help people hopefully get on the right health journey. So I'm not having to treat them in the ER with like, because it all just escalates and comes in, right? Unless it's an emergency. So jumped on board for the business, directly for the business led with the business. And in 11 months, I hit Emerald and then I backed ranked um, Sapphire and Diamond in 12 and 13 months. And you guys, it was, it was a big shift in my mind that there is something more than what you just go to college for <laughs> because I was happy with my job, right? I, I was thinking I was just going to climb that ladder um, in, in the medical field. And um, I had my first baby. And I still went back to work. So I was diamonds. Um, I had a baby and I was still going back to work. And I remember thinking like, it is still so chaotic in the ER, but I don't have to be here. I want to be here. And that was a big thing where, where you, you know, you go into work because you want to be there, not because you have a paycheck that's making you be there. Um, so that made a big difference of me wanting to stay working in the ER. And then I was pumping in a room and I wasn't eating and I, my milk was what I was dropping. And I was like, you know what? Again, I don't have to be here because I set myself up for success. So um, I walked in and I dropped down, I think to like three days, three days a month or something. Like I went like PRN, um, but I still kept working until we decided to sell our house and we traveled full time for all, almost over a year um, all over Canada and the U.S. and built our team up even more. And we quit. I quit. I, I haven't been in the hospital for, gosh, I guess it's been almost six years. Um, I haven't worked. So 
a little bit of how I started that and what kind of got me going and escalating really quickly was um, posting on social media. I, I had to kind of get in my mind that if I was going to do this business and I wanted to make more money than just like my products paid for, I had to use social media and I had to grow that social media um, because I was definitely not going to host parties. I 100% wasn't going to go door to door and like sell people stuff. Um, so social media was a great platform that you can reach millions of people and you can continuously be like growing your warm market when something gets tapped out. So I dove into learning how to use social media the right way before I even really started using social media. Um, so I hid, this is kind of a little inside thing. Um, I hid all of my coworkers on social media from seeing any Facebook post that I made about Plexus because I just wasn't confident in what I was doing when I first started. And I didn't want to deal with having to go into work and my just mean coworkers, they weren't mean, but they were just kind of like, oh, the pink drink and da, 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 da. right. So I was like, I'm just going to hide you. You're not even going to see my post. You're going to see me drink it at work. You're not going to see my post. So literally I would say for about three months, I hid every single person that thought of they had an opinion about what I was doing. And, and it was this, it honestly was so stupid because when I think back now, I'm like, like, who are these people? <laughs> They're the ones still working 70 hours a week and hating their job and just, you know, um, but, but I hit them. And I think I hit them because I didn't feel confident in what I was doing right away. And I didn't feel confident in, I guess, where I was going. So one thing that got me to break down that, um, just being afraid was to prove them wrong, right? And, and, and just keep showing up and keep showing up. So behind their backs, sort of say, I was working the business and, and I was and I was having success and I was learning about personal growth and development and mindset. And I was, you know, listening to them wanting to earn more money and to um, just get healthy, right? A lot of them now I look at and I'm like, gosh, they need these products so bad. So the day that I made a big post, I think I hit, gold honestly it was like gold but that was a big right to me the day I hit that I I just un I unblocked them all not unblock them but I un, un um whatever that is that you can do with Facebook I let them see my post I was like coming out and you guys the next day at work a no joke I would say over half of them started with the product and joined and how I did that is I went to that one person in my employment that everyone else would follow. So instead of me trying to get all of them on the team, have to talk to all of them, I was like, who's this one person that just talks a lot and everyone usually does what she wants to do. And um, it was a friend of mine and I went to her and I was like, you should just do this. About, like, I'm not having to pick up extra shifts, all this stuff. And she did it. And then everyone else joined under her. So they're still active on the team today. And two of them aren't working there anymore, which is so nice. Um, but you know, it, it was that it was that fear that I didn't want to have to deal with it in person of someone saying like, tell me about the pink drink or what is it or a pyramid scheme. And, and you guys, I heard that. I heard that. And in my mind, I was like, but they're just so uneducated about what we have to offer because the more I educated myself and the more I grew in the industry and learned it was a legitimate business and the success stories, I had something to come to them, you know, and say, well, actually like this is wrong or this fact is wrong. Um, so if you have to deal with someone in person and you're afraid of that and you don't want them to see your post or you don't want to, you know, just kind of get embarrassed or whatever that looks like for you, I, I would say you have to educate yourself more because you're going to hear people ask questions and you're going to hear people say it's a pyramid scheme. And, you know, I, I think family is the worst sometimes. I think I heard it from one side of the family I don't even talk to, <laughs> but like I didn't talk to them before Plexus, but, you know, they, they saw my posting and they're like, oh my God, it's a pyramid scheme. And I'm like, yep, I'm going to ski myself all the way up to the top, right? <laughs> Just make a joke with it. Um, and then, you know, I, I had the fear that, you know, what if people like, they're, they're going to think that I am like littler, right? Or something like that. They're going to think that this isn't a legitimate business or they're going to make fun of me. And you guys, I heard this. It's a really like sad, scary fact, but the, the life expect expectancy to live in the United States is 70 years old which is kind of crazy, right? So at that time, I was not even 30. I joined Plexus when I was 27, hit Diamond when I was 28. And I was like, you guys, I only have like 30, 40 more years to live. <laughs> I was in the shower and I was like, 
like, I got to give this my all, like my half of my life is almost over when you look at like the facts of that. And um, so I was like, I'm just going to give this my all. And who cares what people think of me? Because we have to, number one, collect as much income as you can. We have an amazing business, amazing compensation plan. We have to live like the way we want to live. We have to travel as much as we can, give as much as we can, because I don't have that much longer. <laughs> That's literally what I was telling myself. So I just started sharing about the business, honestly, every single day. And again, I was probably gold, um, if not even gold at that point, business every single day, what we have to offer. And in my mind, I also thought like, I don't know these people because at this point now I was just adding whoever I wanted to add on Facebook because I was growing a business. So just as if you were going to open up a brick and mortar boutique or a coffee shop, you're not going to know half the people that come into your, your store. They might not like the clothes that you have to sell. They might walk out, right? But it's not a direct opinion or like insult on you in the clothes that you, you know, are, are offering. It's just not their style. And that's totally fine. The same thing with a coffee shop or whatever, you know, a, another type of business, you just don't have what everyone wants and you're never going to. But if you have that mindset of, you know, you believe in what you're doing, you are going somewhere, you have that vision and who cares what people think of you, you're going to go to the top because those fears are what's holding you back. And it sucks sitting in that spot where you're like, I know what I have to do. And I know I have something great. I see my friends doing it. I see people doing it, but I'm just scared because Susie Sally over here, who looks like her life is perfect, right? But she's probably crying inside <laughs> because you're showing up and she, you know, you, um, and you're putting yourself out there and she's too scared to do that. But inside, we're scared to do that too. So, you know, I, I have another story where I actually had a girl, Katie, she's on my team now. She joined me and she said, like, she literally was supporting my post secretly. You guys, she was a scary person. I was like, I really want her on my team, but she's going to think that I am just sell salesy and it's a pyramid scheme. And I, I don't want to act like that towards her. She has it all together. Um, she's a lawyer. She has an amazing job. You guys, she hates her job. She wants to like quit her job. Like she hates her job, right? She has so much debt. She's so much, she's so stressed out. She paints the picture perfect lifestyle on, on Facebook. You guys, and she literally was like, Laura's showing up. She's confident. She's putting herself out there. She doesn't care what people think. And on my side, I was like, I care so much what Katie thinks, okay? So people don't care. Like you have to show up to and, and, and just support what you're wanting to do because you don't know really what they're thinking. And at, at the end of the day, people really don't care what you're posting on social media. You know, when, when I'm like scrolling, I see someone I don't really agree with or they're promoting another product. I'm not sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, she did this so wrong. It's so stealthy. Oh, like, what is she doing? I just keep scrolling. And so most of the people that you're scared of, of what they are thinking of you or you're reaching out, what they're going to say, all we have to do is just remember, like, they don't care. And you only have 30 more years to live. I'm just kidding. <laughs> But really, you know, like, look at the bigger picture of this is social media. Like, this is one little aspect of your life where you can show up and be whoever you want to be. And it doesn't matter what people think of you because most of the people on your social media, you don't even know. Like, you don't even know. They don't even know you. Like, they're not in a close circle. And if they are, they should support you no matter what you do. And if they don't support you, then they're not in that close circle that you think of. I mean, I have 100% have distanced myself some, from some friends that I thought might be supportive, but they're not. And at the end of the day, it's not a big loss because no matter if I open up a, a wellness business you know, in direct sales or I actually open up a wellness center, a friend that's a friend and that's someone that thinks highly of you and supports you should support you with, you know, wherever you go. Um, because it's not going to be for everyone, right? It's not going to be for everyone. Um, and we have to accept that. So I think once I got over my fears of what people would think, my coworkers would think, if I was being slimy posting, you guys and my posts back then were like literally a, a van. And I think it said like, get, I don't even know, get thin or have like a measuring tape around it. It was like, it was all cartoons. Like you, they're still on my Facebook today. If you scroll back, like it's, it's hideous, but you guys, I got to Emerald in 11 months because I put my fears aside and there's people still growing really successful businesses because they put their fears aside and don't care what people that they don't really know on social media, um, think. So I think it's definitely like a generational 
mindset that just messes you up that people that you don't know are going to judge you. <laughs> and it's something that we all have to get over because it's going to stop us in our um, journey. It's going to stop you in your future. If we let someone, you know, that, that, that you just think they're going to have an opinion on you and they probably really won't. So a few people, a few tips, people that I thought would judge me, I reached out to them. Okay. And I had to have that mindset change saying, you know, I don't want to keep posting on Facebook and just hope that someone's going to comment or hope someone's going to message me being like, what is it, Laura? So I have laid out um, my first line of my, my level ones are mostly all business builders. Okay. And I, it's that way. And I feel like it's very stable and foundational because if it's a business, you've got to grow a business. Okay. So you don't want to just gather um, a whole bunch of people. It's never really about just recruiting. It's all about growing a team and a team has to have business builders on there. So I reached out to my business builder. So when I first um, started, you know, working the business, I made a list of people that had completely different networks than I did. And this is still my number one tip. So when I, instead of, you know, saying make a list of 50 people, you know, I made a, a list of people I want to work with and then made a list of their networks. So an example that was, um, I wasn't a mom at the time. Now I have three kiddos, but my sister was a brand new mom. So it was Donnelly. And then her next to her name said new moms, nurses, you know, um, healthy living. Like it was, I wrote down all of her networks that she can touch. Another one is a Sapphire on my team, Nikki Loveless. Um, she is, she was a nurse. So it was a nurse, but she lived in upstate New York. So big thing, New York team. Okay. I think she's one of the first or second jewels, I think in New York, um, back in 2014 when she, when she joined. Um, so it was, it wasn't just who I want on my team. It was who I want on my team, but what is their network? Because we're going to tap into their network. So that's really, really important is make a list of networks that are different than yours, because if they're your network, you should be recruiting them, right? So if, if it's a different network, they can relate and they can be posting, which is really, really important. Um, and then it was messaging for the business. So the people that were scary that I didn't really want to talk to or post to, it was, you know, hey, Becky, I, you know, think you have a great influence. I love X, Y, Z about you to see if you're a great fit for this opportunity. Can we just have a chat? This is where I'm going with the business. Okay. This is what I'm doing. I'm going to pay off $80,000 in student loans. And my goal is a year. I would love for you to set a goal for a year with me. Okay. Same thing with Donnelly. Donnelly, you hate going into your job and I'm having to watch your baby on my day off. <laughs> that literally was my message to her. <laughs> and I am working 80 hours a week and I hate my job right now. So let's do this together because I think in like six months, you're going to be able to quit your job. You guys, seven months, Donnelly quit her job. Okay. So it was painting the picture of what this can do for you. And we led with that. Okay. So every single post I was making was I'm paying off my student loans. I'm paying off my student loans. So people were joining because they had that same goal of paying off their student loans or getting out of debt. Every post Donnelly made, I'm going to be able, be able to stay at home with my daughter. I'm going to be able to not miss her first. I'm not, I'm going to be, it was all relating back to why she joined. Okay. Nikki's, you know, I, I want to be able to sit set a stable foundation for when I have my first, you know, daughter. Okay. So it is, we were literally painting a picture and telling a story until our big post of Donnelly saying, here's my letter. She literally posted her, her quitting letter, her resignation letter on Facebook. Mine was, I paid off or a picture of me saying zero balance on my loans. Okay. So people were joining us because they had those same financial business goals. Um, and then we were reaching out to those that we thought would be a great fit, scary or not. And some people told us no and came back years later. Some people told us no flat out. And some people said, yeah, let's, let's do this. Okay. Um, so that is a big tip is paying that picture of what you want for your business, because people that agree with you are going to jump along, you know, the way the second tip is sharing the non scale, like small financial victories. You guys actually have so much more, I guess, leverage than, you know, Becky, Andrea, and those that are jewels, because most people look at us and they're like, good for you, right? Like if we post a picture of our Lexus or getting a travel or paying off loans, people are like, good for her. That only happens to like, no one I know, <laughs> right? Like good for her. 
But when you post a picture or a little post saying, you know, I was able to go to the gas station today and I just filled, up, filled it up on my credit card or my debit card. And I don't even know how much it was, but thank you, you know, for able to earning some extra income. You guys, I joined Kara on a post that she was able to buy her family chips and queso and some drinks, right? And 11 months later, I went enrolled. Okay, a girl of Janina Balan, she's an enrolled learning team. She joined because me and Darlene made a post and we're walking through Costco. I literally remember it. And we had this big old like 80 foot teddy bear in our cart. We couldn't even like carry it. And my niece, and we made a post saying, it is so nice walking in. And when I think I said like, my niece points to this $500 bear, it wasn't that much. It was like $100 bear. I can buy it. And it literally is like not even scratching a dent. She joined, I think like the next day because she wanted to be able to give her kids more. Okay. So those are very small victories. If it's filling up gas, going out to um, dinner, whatever it is, those are so relatable. So don't feel like you can't post about the business because you don't have a big testimony. It is more beneficial for you to do it now. Okay. Because people can relate to you and they need extra money more so than ever. So make sure you do that as well. And then my third tip that I think is really, really important when growing a business is just have in mind that wholesalers most likely will not stay. Okay. And, I, and this is kind of weird to say, but if you guys have that mindset of that, you're going to not feel so bad when they leave. <laughs> so if you look at supplements at a whole, right, and, and you, you look at kind of wellness, we want to get someone to a level where they are making better decisions for their body. Okay. There's people that have joined that have never walked a day in their life, or they, they eat like crap, or they never set foot in a gym, and they start taking our products, and they start feeling better, and they start walking, and then they start, you know, making better meal choices, and then they start going to the gym, and then they start going to um, training to be a personal trainer, and then they start in fitness competitions, right? Like, Plexus starts off someone's health and wellness journey, and that's so, so amazing, but not everyone's going to look at it like that. They're going to look at it and say, 30 days, I don't look like a Victoria's Secret model, whatever, I'm quitting. Um, but ultimately, we don't want people to have to supplement their entire life, right? We want someone to be able to join Plexus, get on the products, feel amazing, start making better choices, being able to look at what 20 something products we have and be able to shift the products through their entire lifestyle. So someone might not be on, you know, Triplex for the rest of their life. We, we all think it, they, they do, right? Because we love our products, but some people might not need that. So don't just let them quit. We want to offer them what else we have to offer. And I say that because, you know, when I first joined, I wasn't on I didn't need to be on any of the products I thought. And then I was like, oh, I have major anxiety. Oh, I have major headaches. So I was on a completely different set of products when I first joined than what I'm on now, right? So it's, it's a journey that products can travel through. So we don't want someone just to quit, but we also have to have that mindset that maybe we need to ship their products, right? Maybe the products they're on right now aren't the best for them. So when I got pregnant, I was on a completely different line of products, right? When I had the baby and I was nursing, I was on a different line of our, our products, Plexus products. When I am trying to work out to lose baby weight, I'm on a different line of our products. So when you have wholesalers and you have, you know, your customers, make sure you're looking at what they're going through in their life, offer more products to them. If they have kids, say, hey, we have an amazing children's line. If they, you know, are using certain skincare, hey, when you're done with that skincare that you're using, try Plexus, you're already getting wholesale products. So make sure you're not just letting someone say, oh, I was on Triplex forever. It didn't really work. I'm quitting. We have other products we have to offer them. And also, you know, make sure we're giving them, you know, health and wellness tips and stuff. I know, you know, Becky and Andre and you guys are all great about that. Um, but we can't assume someone's just going to grow. You, you I guess you can't assume that you're going to grow a foundational business on wholesalers. You have to get business builders to help you because that's what I see. People get to gold, people get to almost senior gold, and there's no business, but they're all wholesalers, right? And then they're like, I don't know, it wasn't, real, wasn't for me. And they quit and they're like, my whole team quit. Wait, there's no business builders, you guys. They're just wholesalers. So we have to, you know, try to keep them by introducing new products, try to keep them by, you know, shifting their products around with whatever they're going through in their life. Um, but recruit those business builders. It's so, so important. And just show up, show up to you. Don't be anyone else. Show up and um, yeah, just work the business. It's amazing. So.
Anybody have questions? <laughs> I know that was like a lot. <laughs> I love this. I'm like, I can see Becky writing notes. I'm like over here, like, I'm so ready to watch the recording and take more notes. I have to be oh. present in a call, but I do have a question. Um, something that I hear a lot of, and I've heard a lot of over the last almost 10 years is when someone does make their post, they finally like get that in them and they make their post or they post something in the story and then they don't get any bites or people are like, no, or it's too expensive, or I'm just supporting you. What would you tell someone in that position? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Just keep going. I mean, I, you know, I, I think number one, the algorithm sucks on Facebook and Instagram. So if it's a story, we have to remember it's only going to be seen for 24 hours. So maybe the person that you're trying to, you know, capture or, you know, show the products to, they didn't even see it. Okay. And then um, for posting, it definitely, you have to be interacting with them. So my big thing is when I have people post for the first post is you have to do the, the, the work before. So, you know, when I have a new person join, I say, go through your friends list, you know, write down those lists of people you want on your team, be messaging them, um, not plexus, but just, you know, be building up that relationship with them, commenting, supporting, um, and then make your post because they're more likely to see it. So number one is make sure you have a strategy to fight against the algorithm. It's so important to the framework. Two, um, I had that mindset that it's not going to be for everyone. That's okay. Like you're going to hear no's. I always give that example of if you, you know, opened up a different store, a coffee shop or something, you're going to be people that don't like a coffee and that's okay. Um, and then also, you know, know that like if they are your friends, they're most likely going to support you. If it's, you know, if it's whatever it is, if it's your if it's direct sales or, you know, a brick and mortar business, I tell people, you know, reach out to your friends first, like, especially the, when you make your list, most time it's your warm market, right? Don't just put a post and like have them see that you're joining a company on a post, reach out to them and say, Hey, Becky, I, you know, I partner with this company. I, you know, we have such a great friendship. I love your support. It might not be for you. And that's great, but I want to be the first ones to reach out to you about it. Like, you know, like set that framework, just as if you're going to say, Hey, I just got this new car. I want to go show you it. Like you're going to reach out to your friends first. So it's not a shock of being like, I just joined Plexus, joined my team, you know? Um, the, the way you post, I think is really important this day and age, um, you know, showing the value, I think is so much more important than just posting and saying, you know, buy my products. Um, so I think leaning more towards educating someone on what the products can do and the vision of what the opportunity can do really kind of sets that foundation, that framework of like, this is something bigger than just trying to make a hundred dollars to get your products paid for. Like, this is like what I'm wanting to do as a business. Um, and then, you know, I, I think just going into it, knowing that this is not for everyone and you're going to have people unfriend you and, and, you know, not respond. Um, and that just comes from mindset and personal growth. You know, I, I think we're all going to have those fears, you know, depending on what we do, but when you grow as a person, as a leader, um, you'll get over it quickly, especially when you start seeing results. <laughs> I love this. Like this is, there's so many great nuggets and everything you're saying. I absolutely love it. Does anybody else have questions? I want to open it up for anyone on here to be able to ask questions while we have her on here. I have a question. Yes. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, I am at work um, having a very short lunch break, so I will have to listen to the recording. My question is um, specifically um, your, uh, your, I'm trying to figure out how to word this. Um, I'll just, I'll just be completely open. I had a conversation with my husband and he asked, you've been at Silver for three years at what point, what timeline to get to gold? Um, what is your timeline until you, and um, until you say, okay, um, I quit. And I got very offended and said, I'm not quitting. I'm never going to, <laughs> but, but I understand there's timelines, but like, I feel like I keep missing it. Like I say, I'm going to um, get to a hundred points, all those things. And, and I, I know the answers probably don't look at your points. I mean, you need to look at your points, 
but I just feel stuck and I don't have an answer for him actually then, then. So I don't know if you have any tips for that, or if that question even makes any sense, how do you goal set? He's supportive to a, to a degree, <laughs> but Hang on one second. My little girl just walked in. She no had, problem at all. Tell daddy they're in the blue bag in the mudroom. Go. <laughs> She's looking for a diaper. The blue bag in the mudroom. Close the door. Bye. No, that, that, that does make sense. You know, and I think it's buying it, like getting his, I'm going to close this door. Um, getting his support, I think is number one. So it kind of sounds like he's just annoyed maybe like annoyed, like you know just being like how long are you going to do this you know and then I think setting down and saying you know I'm doing this business because this is where I want it to go and this is what it's going to do for your family or our family like kind of like saying like this is why I'm doing it I think it's really really important you know goals are hard I, I think do you have any business builders on your team oh the issue frozen I think no. she's I had I I had uh one silver but not any more really. So I feel like, I guess, duplication might be where I might be stuck at as well as recruiting. It, it's like a double whammy there. Yeah. You know, I, I think, I think relaunching your business, you know, so I, the one thing that I like to do, especially with like my own business, personal business, because those four markets get tapped out um, and people that have been with me for a while is let's do a relaunch. So what I like to do with that is I sit down and I say, where am I really good at? Like, I'm good at showing up on calls. I mean, you're on a call right now during work. I, I show up, I, I, I do this good. My mindset's good. I'm in it to win it. Like, this is good. This is what I need to work on. My recruiting sucks. I'm not developing people. So let me learn. Let me take a week and just really dive in to all that. I mean, I love, I think, so um, Phelan Reb. But that's a lot. Yeah, Fallon Reb, she's great at that. Um, I still love like Tara Castaneda on YouTube, her old, old videos dive in and find some videos of where you need to work at and then come back around and say, okay, I'm going to make a really big post. So before you make a post, interact with tons of people. Okay. So go on your Facebook, go through like every single person and build personal relationships with it, them, um, make some just fun, like educating posts indirect to Plexus. Don't just say Plexus. And then literally come out and say, I am so excited. I am relaunching my business. I've been with the company for this amount of time, you know, I, but I'm ready to really build and, you know, develop leaders. And this is what I'm going to do. This is my plan and really set that thing up. You know, I want to hit this rank and this timeline, like put yourself out there because I feel like when you relaunch, it's exciting. And like, when you've been doing this for a while, it, it gets dull if you keep doing the same things over and over and over. You have to bring excitement to your business. And if it's not exciting, you don't want to do the things that you know you need to do, right? So you just keep posting and you keep wishing and you keep being like, no one's joining my team. But it's like, where is that exciting factor? And where are you growing? And where is it just bringing passion? And so that's why I personally love relaunches for my own business, because if you're working that new warm market over and over and you're meeting new people and you're inter interacting with people on your Facebook, there's people that might not even see the original launch, right? And that launch should be fun and exciting. Um, and I would have your husband, I would say, do this with me. Like, let's make a video together. Like, let's do this together, you know? And there is also something that is so, um, it's vulnerable, but bringing in the backside of the business side. Like, I don't know if he's opened you sharing about this on your main page, but being like, you know, I'm doing this for my business, my, my, my family. My husband's a little skeptical still. He's not really like hundred percent supportive. Let's get his take on it. Have him like make a little video <laughs> and then be like, I'm going to prove him wrong. Like we're going to do this and then show up and like, so kind of bring like, bring your business and what you're going through personal to your, your page. If he's open to that, because I think a lot of people can relate as well. Right. Or a lot of people might not be joining you because they don't have that support from someone. So, so kind of hearing those obstacles um, and a timeline, honestly, a timeline's hard because there's a lot of obstacles in our business where if you're just getting, like I said, wholesalers, we can't count on wholesalers to grow a foundational supportive business because 
your business is in their hands of if they like our products, are they taking the products? Are they having the best results? You know, are they have medical conditions going on that why they're not having, like there's so much stuff going on behind the scenes of we can't have wholesalers grow and support our business. We need them a hundred percent, right? We need a lot of them because they bring a lot of points. They share our products, they have results, but we can't count on that. So business builders and kind of sharing that backside is, um, is really, really important, but I wouldn't focus on saying like, Hey hubby, I'm going to give myself two months. Right. Because we can't like, I just feel like that's not, um, that's not a good mindset for you. Number one, you know what I mean? Like basing that on that. So I would just show, I would, I would sit down and say, this is what I want to do. This is my, this is my goals and I'm going to relaunch my business and I'm going to make it happen this time. Does that work? Thank you very much. I should say he, he does take triplex faithfully. He did reset one time, definitely probably would not, uh, agree to do a video. He's very anti-social media. So that's really hard. So, but thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Laura, my Hi. question is, um, if you had someone that you were going to message today about the business, like, could you think of a specific person? And I just want to hear what your messages, uh, your recruiting messages look like, especially yeah. So, I mean, so recruiting for the business is different for every single person. I don't think I've ever really worked my business with like a script or anything. Like, I think it's just kind of, we, we, you know, we grow together as a person. So I definitely make sure I have a personal connection with someone. I have never messaged someone that's just, I don't really know if everything about them. Um, I go by what is called Ford. I don't know if you guys have heard this before. I think I spoke on a super Saturday a long time ago, but so I go, it's acronym. So it's family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. And I make sure I had, I have Ford um, known uh, before I message anyone about the business or the product. So I want to know about their family. I want to know what they do for a living. I want to know what they do for fun. And I want to know like what their big dreams or like what, what their vision looks like for their life. Because I feel like once you know that you can kind of add in a little bit, um, but a message for me would just honestly so, okay, I'll read some. Well, let me see if I can find one because I, I have sent a couple out <laughs> recently. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick before. Take your time. I always think this is the gold is when I actually get to read someone's messages. Yeah, let me see. I might not even have it on here real quick. Let me. Let's see. If not, I will send it to you. We literally just did a big old, um, my messages go back so far. We did a big mastermind about this kind of stuff recently. And I had like the whole, I literally sent my team the whole um, like message to these people, like back and forth because it's blocking hesitations with all of that. So if I don't find it real quick, I will. Like how far do I have to go back on my phone? Let's see. Um, it might be too far back, but. And while you're looking, let me ask this. Yeah. You know, my personal confidence is always higher when I can get someone on a Zoom or on a phone call or even better face-to-face. -face. So how quickly are you trying to get into a one-on-one -on -one, like conversation with them from that first business building message? Um. So if they're local, we honestly try, I try to meet up like a lot of times before you know, if they're local to me, if they're not local to me here, it's pulling up right now. One second. Um, if they're not local to me, I mean, again, once I know all of, you know, like uh, about them, I, I usually say, Hey, let's jump on a zoom, but I, I always message them first. So it's something like, Hey, you know, you would be a great fit or, you know, are you open to learning about what I do? And then if they say yes, then I do try to share online um, or like getting on a Zoom with them. Here's this message real quick. One second, sorry. Um, I want to pull up the whole message so I can um, read it back to you. <laughs> Let 
Okay, so this is a good one because we met online. Um, welcome. What, Larry? Well, hang on. Okay, so we met online and we talked, I would say for about probably six months online before we met. Okay. Her name is Anita. And then I just wrote, I said, so we went back and forth. Like we have a lot in common with our kids and just our lifestyle. So I said, you would align so well with my company and help so many people with preventative health. Have you ever thought about creating another stream of income using your social platform? And, um, maybe we don't read. And then, so her thing was, um, thank you for the compliment. Um, she does social media marketing for her business. Um, last year, she really wanted to establish, you know, growing her personal page for revenue. She's horrible at selling a product, um, but her qualities are in people management. And then I just said, the good thing is that you love people management and that's how you grow that residual income in the business is growing people and loving on them. You'd be perfect and I'm here to help you when you're ready. And then she just said, okay, let's do it. Um, but I want to make sure I'm on your team. <laughs> so then I said, you would 100% be on my wellness team. And I would make sure that um, you have the systems for success. Um, and then we went and talked about food because that's what we talked about online. <laughs> <It was food. laughs> um, and then she joined. And then she joined, I would say, about a week later. And then um, she's worked. This is a couple months ago. So she's working towards um, gold on that. So, you know, hers was just like, hey, you should do this. You would align, you know, so well with it. Um, another one, Lindsay, um, that I can think of recently, she, she is a personal trainer. So I just said, you know, hey, I'm not sure if you're looking for an extra stream of income, but you would be a great fit with helping people with the backside of, you know, supplements and their products. You know, are you open to talking about it? So I think the big thing I think is saying, like why you think they're good asking like giving them the kind of the the options of being like hey this might not be for you but that's okay like in the very beginning and then saying you know are you open or you know do you want to see if you're a great fit for this because I think there's also something someone reads it they're like well what do you mean a great fit like what is this that they're like hiding you know so I think that the key things are adding something impersonal of what why you think they would be great giving them that kind of buy out if you want to say of being like this might not be for you and that's totally fine um and then saying you know are you open to maybe learning a little bit more and then so when they are open to learning more I think number one I usually share a very like five or six sentences or a voice mess it's mostly honestly all in voice message that I do um about why I joined like why I joined and kind of the 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 vision that I have with the um you know the company or the product and then just giving them the facts like that's like, I don't really send the whole compensation plan. I don't send all the products. I usually say, you know, your first goal is to go silver and this is what, how you do it. And this is what you do. I almost always tell them they have to go silver with at least one, if not two business builders, because if they're joining for the business, then they need to start working as a business. So it usually is never in my mind saying, just grab your brother, sister, and mom, because that's not going to work, right? We all know like that's not going to grow a business. And if you're training and leading someone to grow a business, then you need to get them started strong off for the business. So my wording with that is usually, I'm uh, sorry, I'm plugging my computer in, is, um, you know, hey, Zanita, you know, I'm so excited for your wellness journey or your, your business journey. Your first goal is to go to silver. Going silver means grabbing one friend to do the business with you and two that you think will be great for the products. Um, you know, with that, you're going to earn $375 and maybe this incentive. And then once they do that, awesome, you hit your first goal. Your next goal is to have 10 people on your team. So it's literally walking them through everything. And then they can learn the comp plan as they go. But I never sending all this information. Does that make sense? Yeah, I love that. I love the fact that you designate silver as needing to find at least one business grower. I love that. Yeah. And then I also love that you keep it simple because I do think that it's when we get it complicated that people, they they lose the clarity for what their goal should be. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, and I think another thing too is I tell them like, especially with my, don't play, just my network, like a lot of them are on social media now is I say like, this is what's amazing about this business is you get that like, you get to use your personal, like just, 
whatever you align with, like you get to market these products basically however you want. So if you want to market it with your kids, if just fitness, like whatever, like you get to use that and you get to do it. So I think that helps too, with not being like, what do I post? I'm like, just post what you're posting, <laughs> but just add in plexus or add in, you know, wellness company or whatever. So. Gosh, I love this Laura. And one thing I'm loving that I'm hearing you consistently say throughout this entire call is your intentionality behind this was a business and you work it as a business and everything that you're doing has intention around business building and creating that same opportunity for other people. So it's not just about like your own business, but you're wanting to give that same benefit and blessing to other people that you're bringing on. And I just absolutely love it. I've got to go back and take a bunch of notes because it was so good. I thank you so, so much for taking time and just being on here and pouring into us and giving us all of this incredible knowledge. Um, I hope everybody on here took as many notes as I know I am going to, and I know Becky's over there. I can see her writing them away. And I know Andrew's already texted me. She's excited to watch the replay as well. Um, so thank you so, so much. I hope you guys have an awesome day and we will talk to y'all soon. Bye. Bye guys.